Hello Giants fans, welcome to Giants Baseball 101, I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. The Giants beat the Orioles 4 0 today, so they've evened up the series. Alex Cobb pitched 7 and 2 thirds innings, so that, that's a real refresher after Logan Webb almost made it through 7 with the game in his hands, but he got a lot of home run at the last minute, but this time Alex Cobb just made it through the whole deal without allowing any runs. J.D. Davis, Wilma Flores, and Austin Slater all had RBI singles for the Giants to get four runs on the board. And Scott Alexander relieved Cobb in the eighth inning and got one out. And after that, Camilo Doval pitched a scoreless ninth to close out the game. So the Giants are back now to 29 wins and 29 losses. So they've, they've tied this thing again. And tomorrow, with a... Uh, with a tied series against the Orioles, Anthony DiSclefani will be on the mound for them. So that's where they stand. I, I think the Giants will still be in good shape if they can take this series against the Orioles. And with a tied record, you really feel like it, it could go one way or the other. And that, that it could really just be that way for a long time for the Giants. That's what I really feel like right now. So that, that's why I think that in particular, this series against the Orioles is a very pivotal one for the Giants and, and tomorrow's game, which is going to decide that. That's why that's so important for them. And Di Scalfani is on the mound, and, and, and he's had signs of real success this year. Definitely come back a lot stronger than we really expected after ankle surgery. Um, and he's... So he's, he's looking pretty good, and, and he'll just need to be consistent for the Giants, obviously, for the rest of the year. And, and speaking of guys coming back from surgery, Luke Jackson has also returned, and in his, I believe he's just had one outing and pitched a scoreless inning there. Um, and that's a good thing to see from him, because the Giants' bullpen, while it's definitely improved over what it was this year, I, I think that it could still use some further reinforcement if if Luke Jackson can really be that guy for the Giants. That would be great. And the fact is, we don't know right now if he's going to be consistent. I mean, we haven't seen him. and We're not going to know until we see him really pitch a substantial number of innings. But I, I just bring that up because if the, the Giants could use another late inning guy, especially after kind of the disappointments they've had with like Taylor Rogers not really pitching at, at the level of performance the Giants expected from him when they signed him to that big contract. Um, Tyler Rogers has been pretty good. I, I know he, he's had his share of blown games, but I, I think in general he has been good in the late innings. Um, and Camilo Doval, too. He's been getting the saves. He, he's been a good pitcher for the Giants, and he pitched a scoreless inning today. So, so I mean, as, as far as pitching, I would say if the Giants can get that, that late inning side of their bullpen together, as well as obviously working in conjunction with starters, just throwing deep into games like Alex Cobb did today. And that's the question about tomorrow. Is Di Slafani going to pitch deep? You really got two questions here. Is he going to keep runs off the board? And is he going to pitch deep into the game? Because I, I think a lot of, of what the Giants' problems have been this year, and this doesn't summarize everything, but I think a lot of the Giants' problem has been just a bad transition from the starter to the back end of their bullpen. And, and I understand they've won some bullpen games. Um, Wednesday wasn't one of them, or, or maybe it was Tuesday. It was whatever day they had that bullpen day where Sean Maniah pitched four innings and allowed one run. Although I, I think that's primarily because the Giants couldn't get things going with their bats. So even on that day, we would still have to consider a respectable performance from their bullpen. So some of that works out, but still, I, I think it's going to be a strength that would make a difference for the Giants if their starters 
all able are able to pitch deep and and so that they're not relying on subpar pitchers and, and so that they can hopefully just go to their really trustworthy late inning guys who can get the the job done. So so it is it is a big question for Disclafani tomorrow. Is, is he going to how long is he gonna go and how well is he going to pitch? And then obviously are the Giants gonna be able to maintain their offensive intensity that they've been putting up in some recent games. So Definitely a big game for the Giants tomorrow. They either take a, take a winning record or a losing record at the commencement of that game. But I, I think they really played well today in, in shutting out the Orioles. And um, I, I'd say that we really just hope they can keep this up. It, it really looks like a losing week. But if the Giants win tomorrow, it, it will just be all even with three wins and three losses. And, and, and really... I, I don't think it would look like they're in bad shape at all. So thank you for watching. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also, please leave your questions and comments. You know where to do it. I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball 101.